Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where you can see how some of my creations come together. In today's video I'll be showing you my entry into the second contest from Phase Runner. you finish my artwork. I'll leave in the description his social if you want to check him out by yourself. He provided us with this image which has the assets we must use in one way or another. I managed to turn this into some sort of divine tree using a few images along with overlays. But without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first image I used is the sea sunrise which has its place in front of our character. I find it perfect because it will be the place where the tree will be standing. I want to show you a technique that I use often in my projects. Here I want to mask out this cliff in order to place it where I need to, so I'm gonna do this with a quick selection tool. And as you can see, this selection is not perfect, I still have some white outline from the original photo. So to solve the problem, I will go to Filter, Other and Minimum, where I set the radius to around 3 pixels. And there you have it, the white outline is gone, but this filter affects the entire selection, not all imperfections, so keep that in mind. I hope this will help you with your work. After coloring the cliff from the left side, I had to finish the sky and then add some glowing to the sunrise. Highlights are made with a hue and saturation adjustment layer, clipped to the cliff and then I paint it with a white brush. I wanted to amplify the shadows on those rocks, so I used an exposure adjustment layer and started to paint. And the exact same thing for the grass. I felt that it was missing something, so I added another cliff and the earth. After matching the colors and shadows using the same steps over and over, it was time to work on the focus of the composition. So the base will be made using some random images with three roots to which I'll place the main subject. I added some depth of field using a solid color adjustment layer that matches the sunrise glowing effect from behind. Then I added some texture to make it look more realistic. I got this small tree from which I lose its branches as the main source of light and it took me quite some time to find out what color I should have. Yeah, so yellow and orange are the colors I used.
I also use several textures to give it a fantasy aspect. Nothing special, just some particles. It's time to start working on the character. I decided to use the lantern as a relic holding a little tree that leads the girl to this magnificent view. In other words, it's just a mini version of the main tree. This was a fun thing to do. I enjoyed the entire process from scratching my head for ideas to the editing itself. I'm very happy about the result and a big thank you to Phase Runner for this opportunity. But before ending don't forget to let me know your opinion about this in the comments down below and I hope I see you in my next video.